Hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough, day 18, quick play, let's -a go to, wait, yes, Tidy Park, wait, but shouldn't it, I don't think that's the correct order, uh, yeah, well, well, Tidy Park it is anyway, <laughs> uh, da -da 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 -da. and I guess my miscellaneous clubs, yes, yes, let's go, wait, actually, it's not going to let me play with the other clubs, is it? <laughs> it might not matter. But I, I have been wondering if I could play with different clubs on the tidy... Oh, I can! Look at that! Look at that! Oh! The whole story mode, you couldn't play with different clubs at Tidy Park. But here, here, things are different. <laughs> Alright, so with the shortness of this course and my... I guess you could say overpowered clubs for the course. This could very well be the absolute possible easiest setup that Tidy Park can be in. Well, other than me being able to play with the character that I've been training through the great majority of things. But details! Details! <laughs> I think it'll still be just fine because as I said, this course is pretty short. So, should be alright overall. And that wasn't like regular water skimming, that was just... I, I don't know, it was like boink instead of whoosh across the surface, if that makes sense too. <laughs> anyway, let's try and make something in from a good distance away for maybe an eagle or four along the way. Yeah! <laughs> I don't know about four eagles, but I will do my best to chip things in as I go. <laughs> And number three, for you and the me! This could be an eagle hole, actually. Uh, actually, ooh, oh man! Look at what has potential here. Alright, let's fire it away and try and cross the cap with the skimming woods. Here we go. And I don't care if I go in the puddle, but I just want to get across to the other side there. Well, I guess maybe going in the puddle would have affected my approach but, eh, 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 I don't know, it's still such a short shot that, yeah. <laughs> Alright, here we go, albatross, albatross, can we get an albatross, please? <laughs> oh, oh, oh! <laughs> yes, we can! <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> I don't think I can go four under on a par four hole, so we can't see one, two, three, four, unfortunately. <laughs> Unless I'm gonna take a zero on this hole. Can I skip it? <laughs> can I just skip playing the hole and not count it on the scorecard? I doubt it. <laughs> yeah, nice safe starting play. And then the next chip could potentially go in. <laughs> Who knows? I'm gonna go for it though. The shovel shouldn't have that much rollout, so it should be safe to land it that close to the hole, and I was correct! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> uh oh, this could be the round of a lifetime! <laughs> this ring. Although, technically not, because I'm using the giant holes, so. There's a, there's a little bit of an exception to, uh my actual landing. <laughs> you would have missed the hole on a couple of other holes otherwise. Alright. Safe in the fairway. Can I chip it in again? Probably not. <laughs> but I'm going for it. I'm going for it on every opportunity that I can just because... Oh, 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 oh! Aww. I played it a little bit too much to the right. Alas. Alas, no, no, not the, not the shovel. No, we're not gonna, we're not gonna repeat the past mistakes here. <laughs> I've always gotta watch that on Tidy Park, because at Tidy Park, there's no, tec there's technically no such thing as a green. <laughs> it's just, it just automatically gives you a wedge, even if you're in quote unquote green territory. Uh, I don't know. Well, yeah, I think I should probably just let it roll up to the hole. Like, land it at that little corner of the bunker there. Well, not actually in the bunker, but just in front of it. And let it bounce over the bunker and to the hole. Hopefully. <laughs> oh, don't land that at the spot. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, that's not good. 
Uh, well... Can I get that with just, like, overhitting it really hard through all that bunker and rough? Yes, I can! <laughs> Saved! Whew, that's a pretty tight hole location. I mean, just between two bunkers. It's the only real way to give yourself a decent shot is to go, like, directly to the right of it. But that's not really the most ideal situation either, because th th there's a bunker directly to the right of that, so you might as well just try and get it close, like regardless of where it ends up, and then just try and get the chip in or putt in, however you decide to play it. At least I think. I don't know, I could be wrong. Uh, it should be safe. I don't think it'll go over. Over the fairway, not the green, the fairway. Just wanted to, yeah, just do a little bouncer, bouncer. Well, eh, that's okay. I will take it. By the way, since there's technically no greens, you know, there's no, there's never any slope on these greens anyway. Like even when I uh, play it in super hard mode in uh, in a little bit here. Interesting. <laughs> anyway, eagle. So I guess the only thing in super hard mode that'll be harder that I'm making up is uh, the wind and that I'll be playing with the antique clubs. Uh, you know, come to think of it, I didn't play with the antique clubs uh, back over at Lurker Valley because I was experimenting with all the different clubs, I think? Or was it... Or was it at uh, Wellworn that I... Did? I'll have to check book, uh, back at the footage. But yeah, uh, I might not have played that course at its absolute hardest difficulty if I didn't use the antique clubs, so I might actually go back and replay that just because, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, let's shovel it in the hole, hopefully. See how this turns out. Hmm. That stayed pretty far left, and I didn't even miss it that badly. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I was just aiming too far to the left. It might just look like I was aiming to the right spot. 13 on there through 8 holes, though. <laughs> Alright. Ninth hole, the one that I had... Great difficulties getting a birdie on for some reason. We are off. And I'm gonna just go ahead and hopefully just pop it right in there. Why not? <laughs> just, you know, take out that put potential of missing and you know, put it right in the hole. Ah, oh, I missed. Ah, oh, I missed by 4.5 yards. Even though I think the, the hole is three yards wide in on itself. Anyway, nuke. All right, that's pretty good. <laughs> It's 14 under! Alright, how will it be on the ultra hard difficulty or the hardest difficulty that I can make on this? Probably not much harder. So, anyway. By the way, you can actually press A button on the title screen rather than plus, interestingly enough. And da -da, there we go. Begin the round of doom! Though I don't really see this one causing me that much ire. I don't even know why I bother changing the green slope when it's not gonna, not gonna have any effect. Unless maybe it will in free play, who knows. All I know is, I'm gonna go for the hole whenever I can, because it's a pretty short course. That did not roll out anywhere close to as far as I thought it would. <laughs> well, that's my own fault. Although, isn't all always the player's fault? <laughs> oh shoot, I underhit that. That is not going to make it with the wind. Oh, oh, oh well! Okay. <laughs> it made it just fine. Save, just like I intended. <laughs> just never know where to get them. Unless it's a giant hole, where you can almost always be certain you'll get them from uh, that distance away. Uh, I'm probably better off playing all the way back there because of the massive rollout with the antique clubs. That's what kind of threw me off on the other one was because I was expecting to get a lot more rollout than I did. Then that came a little too close to the puddle for comfort. Because then I'd have to use the rudder to get out of there and that doesn't have that much distance. Uh, uh, yeah, I probably should do a little bit of curvature to the side. And yeah, just, just kind of like countering the wind. If at all possible, to be more direct. Yeah, that's not bad. Now, just as long as I don't underhit it or overhit it, we will be good, because there's no slope whatsoever. I'll hit it about there. I overhit it! 
<laughs> I thought that would have been fine. Nope, it was not. It was not. Yeah, the further you are away um, on this course, I noticed that it is harder to make the putts because it's harder to judge how much the ball is going to be slowed down on the, the whatever texture you're, you're putting on. Because you've got rough, you've got deep rough, you got fairway, they all have different rolling properties, and yeah, not really... Like, you have to play it a lot to actually get that down. So, if you don't play it a lot to get it down, just get as close as you possibly can. You'll have a much easier time estimating that. Okay. Now, for the moment of truth. For an eagle! Opportunity! Well, at least a, uh, set up. <laughs> I think I landed on the fast fairway there. Oh well. Oh well. He'll just kind of try and bump and run it here. Actually, no, I'm gonna go... I probably should actually... Yeah, the, probably the jigger. And... Yeah, something like that, I think. Oh, I overhit it! It's gonna go... Probably whack the pin. Oh, oh! Why? Right, maybe not. Hmm. Okay, fine. I'll, t I'll take it, though. I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> Boink! Yeah! See how much easier it is to estimate that? <laughs> eh, well. Eh, well. Okay, so it is definitely harder with the win than antique clubs, for sure, but... Mm, mm, mm. I think the, the main thing that was making the difference before was that I had the giant holes. Although, I just kind of miss that on other holes, so maybe not. You know, like other other courses in the past, I guess you could say. Okay. And... I'm gonna go back, see a little bit. In anticipation of the rollouts, I may have overhit that. We'll see. And maybe not. The wind actually took it back. It just looked like it was a side win for me, based on... See the little stuff floating in the air and whatnot? Okay, for this, all the way. Yes! I noticed on rough it seems like you have to do double. But I'm not so sure about fairway and deep rough. <laughs> anyway, maybe we'll find out here if I'm not close enough. Um, so I want to aim for the chunky patch of fairway up there this time, I guess. Based on... What I have in the f antique clubs. Oh, oh! Mm, so sad. The wind, the wind did not take it that time. So like, I don't, I really don't understand why the wind doesn't take it sometimes, while other times it does. Uh, I don't know if I can. Well, maybe I can. Can I do a little, little curvature? Yeah. Oh wait, wait, hold on. Oh, we, we, oh, well, we might, might have something here. <laughs> hold on. We, we gotta play with this a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I might have to actually curve or, curve it around to the right side, even though it would be more ideal to curve it on the left side. Just because I have, yeah, the tree in my way. But this might still turn out okay. Let's try that. And do our best. I know I got that 7 yard range too, but okay, that's decent. So I'm gonna assume deep rough is like maybe 3 quarters harder that you have to hit it then? Probably? Maybe? So I'm gonna do half? Oh, actually it was a... Wow. <laughs> I was gonna say actually a little bit more than half, but that was... Uh, I definitely need even more than that. And I'm trying to figure out the poopy <laughs> distance control when I'm putting that that far away, but alas, alas, I have not played Tidy Park enough, and I don't have the tidy... the giant holes at Tidy Park. Hmm. Let's see. Let's try and land it. Shorten the rough so it bounces over the bunker. This is similar to how I played it on the last round, only with even an even further back landing because of the lower roll trajectory. And about the same result, too. <laughs> well, at least I'm consistent. So, I played it like almost full, didn't I? Something like that? Yeah, it works. <laughs> I'll take it. Woo! Yeah, still pretty decent thus far. There's always a chance for more chip-ins along the way. Who knows? Who knows? Oh wait, what was that little... Did you see that at the teeing area? There's a little blue and red thing. Are those... Oh, that's... 
Those are like little flower impressions. I was like, is that someone's leftover tea that they left at the tea box? That, that very well could be, too. That, that's something that people tend to do at courses. They don't clean up after themselves, dang it. <laughs> and thus, people leave their teas sometimes. Sometimes cups that are like dispos <laughs> disposable cups around there. It's just a disaster. Well, maybe not that much of it. <laughs> it's just giving the groundskeepers more trouble than they need. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and pop this on the fairway. Not the green. And almost make it. <laughs> and we're almost done with this round too. As I said, this course is really short. So just kind of flies on by. <laughs> I still don't know how they ordered Tidy Park ahead of uh, Oak Manor. Because we had to play Oak Manor before Tidy Park to unlock the stuff at Tidy Park. <laughs> and there's so much irony um, with this this chorus. Like, they are always like really, really psyching it up as being the greatest chorus in the region, and it turned out to be really, really unkempt. <laughs> they have a lot of house rules. <laughs> Uh, that you don't necessarily have to follow. <laughs> it's a lot of puddles, even in the quote-unquote green, overgrown greens, etc., etc. So, tidy park, not so tidy. <laughs> but oh, so funny. Alright, let's utilize our fast fairway here and roll it over to the hole. In one last swoop to victory! Oh, 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 oh! oh! <laughs> Alright, I think I finally redeemed myself on that final hole. <laughs> I'll take that as a success indeed. So with that, I'm gonna end off the video here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video when I guess I do Oak Manor, which feels out of order. I just did it in the order that they appeared in the old free play.